What's up, YouTube? So my uh, grapevines, uh, well, my conquer grapevine just started flowering, so I want to show that. But before I show that, I'm just going to do a quick spring garden tour. So this is my uh, dwarf cavendish banana tree. It has multiple shoots, about seven in there at, at this point. All these grew from one shoot. Here's a, a cross breed of an orange habanero. I don't know what it was crossed with. Some beautiful peppers, nice and thick, like a bell pepper. Here's my lemon habanero pepper plant. It has a lot of lemon habaneros on it now. It has about, there's a few, of, a few of them on it, about eight or nine. And then there's a lot of buds and flowers forming. Um, here's shishito, sweet pepper. So this one is flooded with peppers. They're all in here. Here's my uh, dragon cayenne, hybrid hot pepper. And this one also has a uh, nice amount of peppers on it. With some decent sizes. All right. Here's my uh, Washington, Washington Naval Orange Tree. I just finished renovating the bed. Or restructuring uh, the bed. So this is my new design. Now I'm gonna get ready to plant. What I'm gonna plant in here is some tomatoes and I'm gonna figure out what else. But you'll see how I do it once it's done. All right, it's my Washington Naval Orange. And down here I have two um, Watermelon plant uh, seedlings. Um, they were direct seeded. Um, here is cream of Saskatchewan. So there's two uh, cream of Saskatchewan seedlings. So last year, this bed was the bed that um, I had a Congo watermelon plant growing in, and it produced seven viable melons, um, seven huge Congo watermelons. The largest one was about 28 to 29 pounds. So now I'm gonna use that bed for cream of Saskatchewan. Over here I have my Meyer lemon tree. Or my improved Meyer lemon tree. That's that's the actual name of it. And we have some lemons on it. Some blooms behind there. And every branch is flooded with lemons. So we start on this side. Here's my sugar rush peach hot pepper. Got some bloom form up. Oh, the flower opened up. Sweet ants pollinating. That's why I like ants, because they are pollinators. It's gonna be hard to see the bloom. I don't know if I can catch the bloom, but that's sugar rush peach. Here is um Southern Giant Curl Mustard. Um, this one, it has a lot of bug. Uh, bugs are heavily attracted to it, as you can see by these holes. But this is minimal damage right here. This is after I, I figure out a method to keep the bugs off. Um, but as you, looks like a rabbit took a bite out of this leaf. But as you look in here, there's not too much um, leaf damage on the newer on the newer leaves. That's because when I see the little beetles or caterpillars on here, or even if I don't see them, every time I walk by this plant, I just this is southern giant giant curl. I do that, it knocks the uh, bugs off, and I'm good to go. Um, here's uh, noble giant spinach hitting under these kale leaves. But here's Premier Cal. Here's a Cubanel sweet pepper. I, I harvested one yesterday. It's delicious. Tastes just like sugar. I wouldn't say just like sugar, but it has a unique sugary taste. So I like it a lot. Here is Gold Nugget Tomato. With this blooms, and small little blooms, supposed to be a cherry tomato. And black Vinicius tomato. 
put some um, blooms for them in. Here's a blackberry plant with the blooms for them in. Some more uh, Maya lemons. A Tila strawberry plant that was recently transplanted. Another black Renaissance tomato plant. Here's my uh, slow boat cilantro. Trying to get this weed out of here. Nice and bushy. Next to that we have some Swiss chard, basil, inside here, early moonbeam watermelon, right there. So that's an early moonbeam watermelon seedling, and this one is three for three. Cream of Saskatchewan was two for three. Uh, so I planted three seeds of everything, and this is what came up. Trying to see the phone screen. Yeah, right here in front of my finger. All right. So next to that we have dark green parsley. Doing well. Over here we have a flowering uh, collard green plant. And then here is some um, oregano. <laughs> that's being drowned out by weeds. I'm gonna have to come clean this container up. But here's some oregano right here. They say oregano is like a weed itself, so I didn't buy the weed in the container too much. Got some blackberry flowers. Um, down here, so for this, um. For this method here, I lost one plant because due to high wind that I had about two or three days ago. This was an Emily basil plant. I found this way on the other side of the bed. So yeah, I lost my Emily basil. I'm gonna plant another one. But here's my Ukrainian purple still doing very well. Ukrainian purple tomato plant. Um, my radar swamp milkweed is doing very well. You hear the lizard? It's crawling, it's crawling through the blackberries, eating the bugs. Um, red Russian kale. So, yep, everything's growing fine. And here I planted a Benny Kodama watermelon. And that's the only one that came up. I planted about three or four of those, and the only one came up. blueberry um home bell so this one finally just broke out of dormancy let me see if i could find the new shoots uh, i don't see it right now but down there you can see a uh yeah, down right here you can see that's a new uh that's a new shoot farming from the ground but they have some uh, buds that actually broke and that are, that are gonna start prof um, producing new shoots. I can't find them right now. Here's a blackberry plant producing its floricane, uh, its primacanes for next year. And we have some ripe blackberries in there. Lots of blueberries. See all the pollinator bugs I'm landing on the flowers of these blackberries here. Must taste sweet. It's my conquer grapevine. I'm trellising it along my fence. Trying to find some flowers. Like right here. So right now it's not fully flowering, it's just uh, flower clusters forming. 
but it's not flowering yet. My but my conquer grapevine is flowering. I know my muscadine has a lot of buds like this. See, they all over here. Um, they're mostly in, on the other side of this gate. Now I have to go on the other side of the gate to show them. Blueberries. Big bumblebee. My friend. Every, literally everywhere I walk around the garden, that's where he decides to go pollinate. <laughs> so he must uh, feel safe around me. Some sunshine blue, blue, blueberries. Here we have some strawberries and some strawberry issues. Bugs keep getting to them, which is normal. I have some more strawberry plants on the way. Brightwell is doing well. Blueberries are starting to swell up. Okay. Some more ripe blackberries that I need to come pick. Blueberries are almost ripe. <laughs> then I have my star blueberry back here that's just starting to ripen up too. So I have 14 varieties of blueberries in here. So I just received an email notification. Baker Creek shipped out my pink lemonade blueberries. So I'm excited about that. Uh, now I'll end it with the Concord grapevine. So it's just starting to flower. There's a lot of them. Like I said, if I go on the other side of this fence, on the other side of this uh, gate, then you'll be able to see all of the uh, flowers and flower clusters. But this is Conquer Grape and Note. And then on the other side over there is Noble Muscadine Grapevine. All right, guys, that's my update for today. I'm gonna finish setting up my beds. I'm, I'm expanding them to be able to grow much more food this year. All right, y'all have a good one.